why the packet gives you paranoia. Let me explain. When you do a line of you know what, you get a huge intake of the neurotransmitters D1 and D2 dopamine. Your synaptic cleft cannot cope with the quantity of dopamine that's suddenly being produced. To compensate, it's going to downregulate, turn down your receptors that produce your own quantity of dopamine. Therefore, you're going to produce less dopamine than you normally produce for yourself. The next time you do a line of you know what, again, you're going to have a huge influx of dopamine neurotransmitter. It's going to be more than your synaptic cleft can cope with. It's going to downregulate your own production of dopamine. Let's fast forward this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. The amount of dopamine you're now producing is minimal. Now what happens is with time, your tolerance level goes up. That means when you do a line, you do a bigger line because your tolerance goes up and your frequency goes up. Now when your tolerance goes up, it means the amount of you know what that you're doing is larger, which means the amount of dopamine you're now flooding your brain with is even more. And it overstimulates your mind. And right here, deep in your brain, is the salience network. The job of the salience network is to attach meaning to the dopamine. But now you have such a vast quantity of dopamine, the only thing it can attach is paranoia, anxiety. And more than that, this produces something in the brain called kindling, which means it's there, ready for the next occasion. And the more you continue to use, the faster the paranoia kicks in. What's that about?